what's going on guys so you all know I've shown you my <laughs> I guess there's something in there <laughs> oh we're gonna have to clean that out what the heck just shot out of that uh, <laughs> you're all familiar if you've watched my other video with my love of the Chinese cake airbrush uh, it's like thirty dollars with compressor on uh, eBay. I'll put my affiliate link down below if you want to check it out. I do like that one still. And apparently it shoots out random liquids at any time of night. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, <laughs> I upgraded. Ooh, that really threw me off. Uh, I upgraded to the new, more expensive Chinese cake airbrush with little adjustable dials to control the trigger. It's got a little cup, so you can see over it, I guess. Um, it's got prongs on the front, so it's harder to put your finger over it to backflow. I don't know why that's there. I guess it's to see if the tip has tip dry. Uh, it's also got an adjustable uh, airflow here. So you can not only set your needle to exactly how far you want it to be able to go, you can also adjust. I mean, if you do it two-handed, you could adjust your uh, airflow airflow psi kind of thing i don't know airflow right here while you're using it you know whatever anyway um so i was using the new and improved chinese airbrush and i made some little lines all right we're gonna call this one the expensive chinese cheap chinese airbrush i guess I don't know what we're going to call it, but um, this one doesn't seem as good as my other one. I mean, I'll link this one, too, if you want to try it out. Um, and I don't think it's the airbrush's fault. It's definitely my fault. This one, let's see if it shoots again. Seriously, that air compressor is off. I don't know what's going on here. Um, this one, my original one that I've shown the video of, uh, it's a little beast. Like, it just sprays. It doesn't... It's never clogged on me, I don't think. Uh, it's a Zenny. Obviously, that's a huge, huge name brand. The best, the hugest, best airbrush company in the world. Zenny, obviously. I mean, you've heard of it. I've heard of it. You've heard of it. Uh, I think it was sold as like a cake or nail airbrush. But uh, it doesn't do anything except it's dual action, right? Air, paint, air, air down, paint back. Um, it's got a big cup, and it doesn't clog, and I, it's not spiky, so you can put your finger over it and pull it back, and then it'll bubble up in the cup. This one, if you're familiar with the Slingshot channel, uh, it has a lot of features. <laughs> and I don't know what they do, but what I do know what it does for me is that it spits, and it sputters, and... About five minutes after spraying these little cards, I couldn't spray anything through it. I had to start taking things apart. Uh, and from watching the guy who owns the Badger Airbrush Company, uh, his videos, he said you never should have to take the airbrush apart unless you let paint set in it. And you can just clean it by shooting, uh, you know, cleaner through it, you know, immediately after using it, you know, frequently. So that's how I try to do it. And I really never have to take that other one apart. I do every once in a while just to get the little residue off the needle, but it works really good. This one, I'm sure, works really good. Now, I think, through my troubleshooting, this one has a 0 0.2 or 0.02 needle. Um, it came in this little case. Oh, here we go. 0.2 millimeter nozzle diameter and 2cc paint cup. There it is. So it came in this nice little hard plastic case with like a little wrench and a little airflow adapter. Um, and then this shows you, this is the point zero. Oh, that might be backwards for you. But it shows you the little parts. And there's like a little troubleshooting thing. Um, I think it's going to be great. I like the idea that when I want to do highlights, say, if you had 20... Hormagons. You could set 
this adjustable thing so the needle only pull like right now it won't pull back at all because it's in so if I turn that I can pull the needle back only so far right so I can go there and it barely barely pulls back and that means you can just hold it down pull it back and it's gonna stay at that same line you don't have to use finesse to only partially pull it back and that would be perfect if you were doing, say, like 20 hormigons and you just wanted to hit a highlight down each of their backs and tails. You're going to want probably the same size line for every single one. You know, um, the other one obviously is magic and shoots things out when you try to make a video, but that's cool. So this is just a kind of a unboxing review and first impressions. Um, it feels better than me. Like it, it bested me in competition. I could spray some lines on a card. I partially primed uh, some Thousand Suns Rubik Marines. And then it clogged. And then I spent a long time cleaning it. Uh, don't get frustrated though. Like it's just a little thing. Like you just don't break the needle. Maybe don't let the springs come out. But for the most part you can just... Right, I knew paint. It's not... Paint should never... So here on an airbrush, I learned this from the Badger guy. If you want to learn about airbrushes, watch his videos. He owns a company. But if you want to learn something real quick, watch right now. The paint goes in here and comes out here. So the paint should never be behind this point in your airbrush, ever, unless you spill. Because it's going to go in here, right? It's going in here and out there it's not going in swirling around back here so if you're cleaning your airbrush or it's jammed or something it's not back here at all unless for some reason maybe the needles not in all the way but you need to you know work from the front you know make sure the needles not dry up or whatever so anyway hopefully I'll get to know this one better um, I will still link it because it was only like $20 so this feels like it's gonna be good um, do I wish I bought the Badger Chrome I was looking at for like $120? Uh, sure, but I just paid taxes. I just paid for a transmission. Just paid for an AC, right? I don't, and I have an addiction to, you know, Warhammer. So I can't be buying the most expensive airbrush just yet. But uh, I will show you. If I didn't already, I don't remember. I did buy a whole bunch of inks and glazes and transparent paints and stuff. So, uh... We got all kinds of fun things to shoot through these little guys. Um, so that's about it. I got a. Uh, here, I don't. We all know I can't show anything on camera that you can really see, but here's like a. Start priming this uh, little Imperial Guard tank. Uh, so it's pretty much black if you look at it from that way. And as you turn it, it should look more orange on top. And that's kind of a natural orange if you listen to the other video. We're going for kind of a fall autumn kind of scheme right now we just kind of have a good uh, red oxide orange color going um, but we're debating on camo maybe like a dark brown camo that goes through the orange paint I don't know something could be cool um, we still you can see them all right there there's a whole big bunch of ratlings and snipers and uh, Vostroians with plasma guns and stuff so we're working on them. Hopefully we'll get them all taken care of. And the Imperial Guard will be on the table soon. And uh, they're basically my little test dummies for this. I wanted to learn how to do the airbrush. So I started working on my Imperial Guard. And that's kind of all there is to it. So if you are afraid of airbrushing, uh, don't be. Right? The paint's so thin too when it shoots out. Like, you're not ruining anything. Like, I've sprayed over some of these tanks like four times now and it just covers it up you can just spray right back over I don't think I see any loss in detail at all and that's huge so that means you can play on your actual model with color schemes and then just go back over and fix it right and sometimes you don't have that luxury with a brush because you might see you start to see brush strokes and things unless you keep your paint really thin but there'll be other videos about that so that's all I got for right now this is the fancy cheap Chinese airbrush. This one is, you know, all the cool people that airbrush on YouTube. They go, this is like your work, workhorse airbrush. This is your workhorse, the Zenny 
cake airbrush. This one has all the extra little knobs and things to turn and possibly break. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Um, we're not too worried about it because uh, it was $20. And this one was only $30 with the compressor and hose and stuff. So pretty cool. Um, uh, back to this one real quick. I'm not sure if I really mentioned this. Uh, I might have totally went on a tangent there. The reason I think I'm not good with this one is because it's a 0.2 millimeter needle. So picture if everybody in a room ran at a door, an opening, right? Like somebody yelled fire, everybody's running towards the door. Consider those, those people are like the paint pigments, the pigment in the paint, and if they're all running at right so they're all that's the paint all running out the door and that's a little tiny door they're more likely to jam up and then you know right so jam up and then spit through so I have to figure out how much to thin down the paints and there's really no way to thin down the actual pigment particle size so not only should you be using finer pigmented paints like inks liquid acrylic stuff like that or high grade uh, artist acrylics that have really finely ground pigment in them. Um, assuming the airbrush paints are going to have that already set up. But then you got to thin it down too. Like, so picture a bunch of people running for the door and they're, they're able to fit, but maybe you coat them with a little bit of butter, you know, and then they're a little slippery. Eh? Right? <laughs> so, anyway, that's the thing I think I need to get used to is just this smaller needle. This other one, uh, I have no idea what the hell the needle size is, right? I'll have to look that up. I'm going to guess it's like a three or a four or five or something. But I've been spraying all kinds of things with the other one. This one is going to be my little detail one. As soon as I figure out how to stop clogging it up. So there are affiliate links below to eBay. Uh, if you buy them, you support the channel. Supposedly, I, know, I never had a sale on an affiliate link, so supposedly I make some kind of money off of it, but that's never happened yet. Yay! Um, but also, uh, if you subscribe, we're giving away Abaddon. Uh, if the rumors are true, there's going to be a new Abaddon released at some point in the near future, so you'll get the old crappy one that I have unopened. Um, so... Let me show you him again. I haven't done it in a while. Hopefully I don't break something. But anyway, new in package. There he is. Fine cast Abaddon. Your cultist will never run away again. And that's a big deal. So when we reach 100 subscribers, we're going to give away a little baby Abaddon to one of you. Um, and then also we're going to be giving away more things. I got the 30-year uh, Marine which I will probably offer if somebody wins and they just don't want Abaddon and they want that 30 year marine. I'm not sure on that yet. I got an extra blue scribes. I got, oh, I don't know. I got, a, I got a lot of stuff from all the way pretty old, like old metal demons and things to, uh, you know, some current stuff. So. Uh, hopefully you subscribe. Hopefully we're having a good time here. If not, uh, see you later. Don't care.